we're going to be able to bring him along just because of our coaches. We'll be able to bring him along good. Did, did you contact him about coming here, or did he contact <clears throat> you for the opportunity? No, uh, Fitz Hill is the president of Arkansas Baptist, and uh, Fitz and I are really good friends. And, and so Fitz, um, when Dyer left, um, he enrolled there at Arkansas Baptist. So Fitz, you know, he, he was getting to the end where he's going to graduate. So Fitz called me and says, hey, listen, I got a young man here that I think you may be interested in, and I would like to, and, uh, you know, I've been working with him. And I think he'll be a great addition to your program, but I want you first to meet him. And, I, and he never said his name in the beginning because I'm trying to figure out who he was. And I said, well, Fitz, you're going to tell me who it is? He said, no, because I just don't, I, I, right now, I just want a chance for you to get on the phone with him. And then once you have a conversation, I'm going to tell you who he is. But just uh, through Fitz Hill, I was able to get that connect uh, for us. And then did you go talk. down there or he came up here? How did it fit? He came here. No, I, I, did, I did not go there. He, he came here. He came here um, probably, <clears throat> probably say June. What's that? West End, July 20. Yes. Obviously, he was at Auburn, and then he got suspended and left on his own. He went to Arkansas State and was <clears throat> dismissed from the team. Why do you think you'll be able to make it make it work for him here when it didn't work elsewhere? I, I just feel like this, Rick, and, and it, it depends on just relationships, and it, and it depends on, you know, I, I think about my first year here, and people talk about we took, have core values, and core values are the foundation of this football team. They would never change, and I would never change. And I, if I was going to judge everyone just on core values, then I wouldn't have my first year here. I wouldn't have had no football team. <laughs> Wouldn't have a I wouldn't football have, team. I wouldn't have a football team because you know I wouldn't win it. And, I, and and plus, I'm not one of those coaches that are into just making sure that I go in and just try to run every player off. I'm not, I, I want to make sure that I can change players' lives. And then I know this that just for, because of my coaching staff and just how disciplined, with, with the way we talk about being disciplined and being a disciplined football team, I, I can I can accomplish that.